Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness, and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something... feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of the f of a phone line, sorry. Uh, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers. All there, if something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. Knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. That sounds brilliant. Uh, note to-do list. The entrance to the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. Of course. Whoa. There could be anything living down here. <laughs> Heroics of the Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me a chance to hide in the shadows. Uh, I'll know I got, I got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. <laughs> Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. Oh, wrong. One. Nice. Thing. A wooden box. Hey. Mm, yeah, okay. Du -du -du -du. This place must be all if you're still using paraffin lamps. There's still some juice left. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe I can light it later. Exit. There I am. Office. Your location. Storage. Workshop. Northern area explosives. Yeah. Let's go. Nothing here. And let's go in here. Woo. <coughs> okay, what's this? Old paint cans, dried up long ago. Right. This shows some kind of trap door, but I can't see where it would be. Yeah. Box minus three rocks equals trapdoor with ladder. Uh, steam pipe equals uh, death. Boxes. Oh, lighter. It wasn't... If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be a handy thing to have. Oh, I see. Uh, huh? Crude breathing spider. Oh, that... Oh, I didn't see that. It's a burning spider. Yeah, okay. Lighter fuel equals burning spider equals happy face. Spiders equals sad face. Okay. Um, boots. Re reams of wire. Lots of paper boxes with rusty nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's locked. Locked from the other side. That does that mean that someone's still inside? I can hear chattering something, something I jotted down. No, just in case. P. P. I mean, <laughs> uh, there's a locked door on the o with odd noises coming from behind it in the storage. Um, yeah. Spiders equal sad face. Oh, okay. I thought I would open it the other way. Let's bravely enter because I know there's nothing in here. What is in here, though? Uh, ah! Stuff, and more stuff, and a saving thing. I remember these. <coughs> Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Of course it was. It saved your life. These are rather nice, actually. They look like weird... Um, 
we had to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> forgot the word. Oh, don't drop it. Come on. Get out of there. Ah, get out of there, rock. Oh, uh, am I inside the box? Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally jumped inside the box. Come on, move it. Come on. Ah. Move. Move. And move. There's an odd sound when I walk. Open the hatch and jump down into the darkness. What? I, I can't hear you. Speak up. Whispering voices. Oh, flammable. Wait, wait. Uh, one. No, sorry. Three. Uh, two. No, one. Ah, uh, one. There you go. Smash it. Anything inside? No? What about these small boxes? Can I smash them too? Oops. Come on. Uh. No. Okay. That's probably good. Maybe I should uh, actually use this more. It gives off... <gasps> <laughs> Christ! Was that a spider? I don't like spiders. Yes, it was. Why did the screen go red? Did it bite me? Da da da. A horrible sight. Luckily it's my fault else it, the smell would have been awful. Yeah. I agree. Right. Let's turn right. Uh, I'll I'm trying to... Yes! It's a flare! I know! I already picked up... Oh! Wait! Um, no! That one! There you go! Uh, <coughs> I begin this record... Record? 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 Still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be sci of scientific value. Despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives, and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food uh, rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident brought me us here, and now 30 years on fate has struck again. Day 1. Day 3. I forecasted that today the rescue crew, the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuati evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day six, man. Uh, my first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mis. I can't read. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of the mine. This mine. My third mistake was to act on both these assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that... I can't read. My best estimate is that I read... Where did I get read from? That I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar lo locale? Lo locale? Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made its, this old mine its home. Although this, uh, the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered manu and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, uh, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain th rather than a fracture. For some time I covered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine. The key for which I st uh, still have in, a in my pocket. Within that area I discovered this storeroom and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. maze. My lesson learned, I will not venture out again until I'm certain the area is safe. Day 19. God! Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. Ugh! 
How many pages are there? I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth. Ew. When I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. Ew. Again. It's not so much the act of swallow swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I've had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I've discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to ven venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Ew, he's going to eat spiders. I knew that, really, but ew. For four days now, I've been <sighs> I have been surviving solely of the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I struggled to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. How <coughs> However, Lady Lux smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died, and I made a second life-saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes, and I will have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. Ew. Ew. Gross. Okay. Ah, that was a dog thing. Psh. Okay. And go. Ow, ow. Ow. Run. Hurry. What now? Okay, um... No! Two, three! Slam it! There you go. Three! The hammer is on number three. Open! Uh... Battery. Uh... Fluid... Uh, lighter gas. Ah! Uh... Painkillers... Fluid lighter gas. Yes? This should fire up now. Thank you. Hospital Grey. <laughs> grey. Well, that sounds uh, fantastic. Aha. And turn. Oh, come on. Turn it. You can turn it. Man, it's so much harder to turn things in, in Penumbra compared to Amnesia. It's much easier there. Ba -ba -da -do -do -do. No steam. Ha. Killed you, Steamy. <sighs> if it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say they look like eggshells. It is. Giant spider eggshells. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording here and I'll be right back. Um, <gasps> oh, God! God! No! 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 Hide! Uh...